pizza. Uh, Kurt, you gotta get this video out. I want to show him Bounty Hunter, but first, come on, come, 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 come. This is an asteroid. Asteroids. That's nice. Wallace got the whole panel prepared. So we sanded this down. We have the overlay on its way. It's going on this. This is actually really nice. And we debated whether or not we should touch up the control panel, the original panel, but I said we're going to put a new overlay on it. Before we show you Bounty Hunter, first, I wanted to show you, um, or tell you, William got his card. I sent a signed card of me, not you, Kurt. Yes. And? Kurt's upset. Okay. If you ask for a card uh, to, and send it to this address, ask a request. I need your address too. Don't forget to send it. I'll send you a signed card like William got. Here's William. He's very happy. He's working on his Paperboy restoration, but he desperately needs a medium res monitor. Mm, that's not good. That. That's not good. But, William, good luck on your search. I also sent a card to Paul Cosby in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> and he took it to the Lowry Barcade and Tavern, took a picture with his buddies, and he's holding his card. And I guess he had a little too much to drink. No, he's probably dropping it in the trash can. <gasps> it's on its way to the trash. Ah! Uh. Well, at least he's in the right place. A barcade, of course, if you're not aware, where you can play all the classics. And maybe there'll be a bounty hunter. How about if we go and show you Bounty Hunter now? Okay. Look, a rare one, Bounty Hunter. 1,220 were made. Now, the game number on this is actually 694, meaning it's supposed to come out before game number 696, which was Chicago Cubs, but Chicago Cubs came out first. So that was the official alphanumerical game, the first one, and this would be the second one. Released. Other than the Jacks to Open prototype. Yes, the Jacks to Open prototype. Oh, oh, you know what? There's the link for that. No, yeah. Frank, no. Now you tell me it. not to repeat jokes. Where is it? Stupid gags. It's up there. Where? Oh, you have it written here. There it is. It's right there, folks. I right, click on it later. Oh, another thumbs down. <laughs> See, well, it's well you know jokes. what? I'm going to make you laugh. My daughter graduated magna cum laude. I'm so proud of her from East Strasburg University one year you. early. One year early. And right here, I'm going to run you a 15 second, her accepting her diploma, but she does something unusual. Stephen Joseph Sperano. Zachary M. Tiano. Raymond John Tempani II. Tammy Nicole Tucky. She danced. That's right. That is the dance from Hoop to Do. Yes, she did. And look, she even got hugged by the president of the university who whispered in her ear, Only you, Tammy. And the provost. So, I'm so, very proud of that. Wait a minute. I'm looking. What does Magna Cum Laude mean? Does that mean she makes like $8,000 a week now? Ah, no, no, he doesn't I make think she anything. for good riddance, in fact. <laughs> Now Don't ever do that again. Well, guess what? My daughter has moved in permanently into my basement. Yes! There she there. will stay, and all she'll do is surf on the internet. They like Kurt. No, so she was oh, watching Kurt where for like is 18 Kurt? years. Kurt's here. Is that game filmed yet? I, 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 I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Well, I got well first of all, we need this, because this is the sign of, of greatness. Of TNT greatness. Oh, you, know, down that just you see, without that on there, then people know the game is junk, but it's not. 
it's the best there is. Because this one has something that no other bounty hunter on the earth has. Your a customized paint? paint job. We have removed the brown and replaced it with the black. This works really nice. The brown had issues, impossible to match. So you know what? We asked the customer, can we do a black motif on this machine? Rob, doesn't it look good? Come over here. I'm talking about the cabinet. Well, yeah, but the play field is part of the cabinet. The play field was a complete disaster. That's right. This is all this is all bare wood. Not and anymore. And Stephen, the artist, did an unbelievable job on this thing. Is it that film yet? Okay. Just a really I, you know what, unbelievable paint it, Frank, job. I must have moved the connection. Okay, let me fix that once and for all. Now look, I like these because these have the thin heads, Rob. Yeah, I know. I, I like, like the like thin the heads. Thin body. Like your thin body. Thank you. Not yeah. trim like me. <laughs> Watch out, Rob. We're going to get all the ladies swooning when they're watching these videos. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, there. All the old ones. On. Only day uh, eight ladies over the, 80. The cable here. <laughs> Just so you know, ladies. Yeah. should name you Mikey. Mikey Italian. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most of the time I ask my brother a question, he gives me this look. Or if, they, you, if, if, he you tell, did, if you tell him to do something, you serious, Clark? If he did the seal thing again, I'm going to kill him. Well, it's I on video. I, put, so I actually put a video of a very smart person, a picture of a very smart person. I'm done with you. No more videos. I am out. You hurt his feelings. Are you going to be in your trailer? I'll be in my trailer. All right. Make up. <laughs> um, we have a button battery cell here. It requires you to drill holes, but th th this this way the game is safe forever, and we have blocking diode here. Right Our jumper. Did I use the wrong finger? I did. Oh, all right. The jumper wire. That's all you have to do, and your grounds are fixed. Jumper wire to there to there. No more problems. And you have to take this board off and, and reheat it. It has to be heated on the back side of the little board. If you're not good at that. You need to send the board out yes, to it's not a trivial an imbecile task getting that, that do it right. little board off of the main board. Oh, and we put capacitors in the soundboard. Rob, can you get the phone while I talk? Phone's not ringing. Oh, the doorbell. Doorbell, doorbell. The doorbell's not ringing. Okay, look. He wanted it on coin up. Does this still have a credit? He has some credits on it. Okay. There's our target. Now, I have a sniper sticker and another pop bumper sticker coming. So we're gonna have to drop it off to the customer. Uh, Steve uh, from Pimple Resource has them and didn't come in today. I'm I just started the game. Do you see this? Do you hear the soundtrack? This has got great deep bass. Okay, now, when the game starts, I wanted to show you how the game is set up. The two and the six are already in your firing chamber and the two and the five are lit here. Now there's a dip switch setting, so if you hit one of the rubber targets, you can move these around. Now do you see the numbers? If you land on a number that's lit, Ooh, what's this? Ah, my high speed. You know what I think we should do with this? What? We'll get Jason to paint it white. We'll add eight thousand dollars to the price and tell him it's a white wood. Yes, he's taking the high speed. I'll tell you what, it's a project, and we're never going to do this project again unless we get paid two days to do this. Just this, not worth it. Okay, now we've been disrupted again. Okay, now look. So the rubbers will move the lights. Okay, wherever there's a rubber point. Is there another one, or so maybe just that one? Oh, the pop bumpers do it too. So your pop bumpers move them too. I guess, oh, wait a minute. These probably do. Yeah, these do too. Yeah. So the research. Look, at least I researched. And now watch. I want to show you something. If you were to hit the two, nothing's going to happen. I already have the two lit. But I will spot the word in hunter. So you want to try to spell hunter. Because if you do complete hunter, it lights the extra ball rollover here. So if you roll through this lane, it'll light. And we haven't shot the ball up yet. So technically the ball would come up, it would roll through these lanes, unless you're really awful, and it goes down here where nothing extra happens. Well, your spring is worn out. Right. 
So let's suppose you roll through that. You spot your C in both places. So C and A are in each place, but B is only there. So if I hit the A here, it spots it there. Okay, now, now let's get back to this. Notice the five is not in my chamber. So if I hit this target, not only will I get the E, but I'll also spot a, a, um, a bullet in my chamber. Now the bullets in your chamber are good because you want to get as many as you can. You want to get up to six and then you fire them. Now look, notice our fire lane. Fire one lit, fire one lit. They're both lit. That means if I circle it either way, watch the effect. I got, it fired the shot to the hole. I got my 10,000 point, okay? And I lost one of the shots in my chamber, okay? Now look, notice that light's out now. Now watch, if I go around the one that's not lit, look at the chamber, now watch what happens. Did you see what happened? It moved the chamber. Now up here though, the lights move. So this is a really good skill shot. If I go through the lane that's not lit right again, okay, it didn't change my firing chamber because I have to hit something else. Now watch, I'm gonna hit something, watch. Okay, I lost one of my shots and I fired another shot. If I go into the hole at any time, okay, it loads all the bullets, only when it's lit, okay? I lost one of my shots and I got my points. It's really good points. There. So in this case, I got 10,000 per shot, okay? Now, if I spell Hunter, these do not move, by the way. So if I hit these, this switch here, the switch only moves the yellow. See, look, my extra ball is lit. Go down the center. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but it just went into my light special one uh, flashing. It went in there, it was flashing. And now my special shot, see the light show it's putting up? To get the special, you have to go through the rollover the right way. If you go that way, you lose a shot, but your special's still lit. But if you go through the correct way, get your free game. Very nice. And of course this stuff is adjustable just like all the games and very elaborate. It's very nice, isn't it, Frank? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Because I think our customer will be very pleased when he gets this. Now he asked it for it to be on Coina. What's this? Johnny got a cash pan ready for him. This is Johnny's cash pan? Yep. This is Johnny we're talking about. Why are you surprised? Told him to get a cash pan ready. I told him to paint Gottlieb on it, too. I didn't want him to, though, because we probably get sued or something. We're just kidding. Johnny thought that would be funny, but he's on the phone helping some boob over the phone. A uh, customer. <laughs> Guess what? We sold a Dragon's Lair two. For two? For two? Dragons I know they made them. Dragons are 32. And it just so happened that we took some footage of the Dragon's Lair 2 yesterday, I think. Let's show that. Jonathan, where's, where's the Dragon's Lair? Gone. Oh no, no. I have to film it. There it is. <laughs> I can't film much of it. It's Dragon's Lair, you're walking the puppies. Hello there, young man. That's Maxwell. Hey, Maxwell. And that's Mo. And Mo, Mo and Maxwell. And that's my Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair part two. two. Part two. That's our bargain basement. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna, uh-oh. That's it. <laughs> Trip him. Oh, so much for filming Dragon's Lair too. This is one of our bargain, wait a minute. What are you doing? Are we doing the... <laughs> I'm kidding. There we go. We'll just go like that. Oh. Hello. We're trying to take them out. Uh, uh, well, Dragon's Lair Dragon Slayer is going and, and so are Max and Mo. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> well, I didn't get a chance to show you. That's running the Dexter board system. There's no laser player in it. It's one of our bargain basement specials. It was actually shopped probably five or six years ago and traded back in, maybe longer. But we took out the laser player 
and we put in the Dexter meter. One of the 20, 20 great inventions for the arcade game industry was that Dexter board to get rid of that player. That was a couple of fun. So our customer is going to have a good running game and no problems. Uh, what a mess. What a mess. You ha I'll film the next Dragon's Lair. Oh, I'm sorry to get you all excited. Those creeps loaded it already. That's why I didn't have it in the title. Another bargain basement gone. Gone. Well, Frank, what should we move on to? Pizza. I'll tell you what. I th the food got your attention, didn't it? Yeah. Ah, well, yes, we are moving on. We are now going to show you a clip boys took. They left very early in the morning to deliver. What was it? <laughs> Probably went to Wawa. Oh. Had a few they, cigarettes. Oh no. They, they went loaded to a this, barcade. They loaded this game up and they took it. What yeah, was here's, it? here's the clip. Well Scott, another Aerosmith going out. I guess we'll do all the filming. Todd can't do it. He was busy last night, I guess. Kurt? Where is Kurt? He's not in here. Uh, another Aerosmith going out. Yay! Oh, Aerosmith. How come I can't? This stuff's flying out the door. You we think so paper that you wrote all that information on, you would have had that written there. <laughs> oh, it's my cheat sheet. It didn't Listen, do very well. We have a bargain basement pinball. I don't. Her shaker? Oh, my Is that bargain basement? No, but it's coming along. You know what? Before I show you that, I'll show you how beautiful it is. Is it plugged in? No. No, it's not ready. We have we have decals ordered. Now, what Claude turned it off? It's coming along. It still has. We have ordered a bunch of stuff for it. Okay, but let me show you time. A bargain basement. This came traded in, and I was horrified. Ah. <sighs> horrified. Ah. I'm afraid I, I showed it to Stephen, and he said he was going to quit. <laughs> I put now a little wax on there, and more was coming off, so it came on wax. Yeah, so here's the deal. Right now, here's the interesting. This came from Stan Harris, and here's how we know, because look. Stan Harris was a Philadelphia area vendor and he didn't like the factory cards so he would take the cards out and you have this lady on a mechanical typewriter always type the letter T and then he has the um, the equal sign I M E see how that's written that's how you know you have a Stan Harris game because of that now the other way you know you have a Stan Harris game is the heavy wear because Stan Harris made a fortune with his games before he finally retired them more than likely, it was in this in this shape or close to it when he sold it to this private home. They claim they've had it in their house for 25 years or so. I don't know. The good news is they had ordered a rubber kit from Steve Young. Wasn't that nice? They in didn't use the shooter in the year 2000. Oh, okay. The look, they got a shooter tip they never bothered to put on because there was nothing wrong with that one. And two extra ones, they probably couldn't figure out where they went. But they were a customer of Stevens, and now they, and look, rather than the originals, let's just put Morris God of War pop up or caps on it. Uh, interestingly enough, the glass, the back glass, is pretty nice. The artwork on the cabinet's not bad. All right, here's the deal the game works. Okay, you got a broken part at the top. Your mini flippers. This is a this is definitely a machine for a guy that wants a player's pinball, right? Would you call this a player's pinball curtain? I would call this junk. Oh, 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 Look, working board set, backlist, the game is a beater. So we are going to sell it. Somebody wants it for six hundred dollars cash. Six hundred dollars. Yeah, you know what it is too though. Maybe we should make it. Maybe we should make it higher. I can throw something else into it. Well, 
wait. Tell you what, we'll wait, throw in this more. bag. But wait, there's more. It does have the glass on the top. Back That's glass good. is pretty That's... decent. Now the boards look good, and at some point, whoever was fiddling with this changed the lithium battery, or the uh, the battery in here. Oh, there's a date on it, Kurt. Well, what is that? Oh, three. It says changed March 19th of 03. So somebody put that in. There's no leakage. Boards are clean. No, there's nothing there. Huh. I don't know. Well, anyway, here we go. Oh, this. Oh, look, Kurt. Timeline must have had a revision. It says 659 slash 1. So apparently there was one revision on this. Probably to fix the problem. Look, the back glass is pretty decent. It's not bad at all. So, anyway, do we have a taker, Kurt? Not for six hundred dollars. Plus tax. Oh Jesus! Plus tax. Okay. And Terry, can I help you? What was that? I got caught. You got caught. That's my little daughter. <laughs> Did you drop something over there? <laughs> okay. Well, she here, yeah, Kurt. She doesn't. Really... <laughs> I have two daughters, you know. They both need to be spanked on a regular basis. Go show her again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done. Oh, Kurt. Nice one. I, yeah, it worked. You know, Kurt, I hear the music, so we're done, too. Yep, it's all right. Yep. Hope you enjoyed our video. Goodbye. Bye.